Believe that God will do these things and you will greatly rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. God has begun to show you his greatness and you will see it becoming fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. God will use you to show forth his praise on the face of the earth. Jesus mighty name. God will use you to do something amazing in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are watching this right now, if you are receiving this word right now, then count yourself privileged because God will do something great for you and for your family. The word of God made clear. He said, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness. God will show you his greatness. God is great. God is powerful. God is all sufficient. And he's saying to you, I'll be enough for you. He's saying to you, I'll be sufficient for you. He's saying to you, I will set to you. He's saying to you, you will be my praise on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, keep sharing this until that one million person get to receive the word of God. Keep sharing this until it reaches everyone that you love. Dear child of God, keep sharing this to the people that matters to you because God have seen everything they have been through and is saying they would not miss his greatness, dear child of God. They would not miss God doing an amazing thing for them. He said, I have considered the days of old. David was speaking in Psalm 77 verse 5. He says, I have considered the days of old. The years of ancient times, and then I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit made a diligent search. I want you to know this moment that your spirit is about to make a diligent search, and God wants to bring out from your spirit man that thing He wants to use to change your life for the best. God wants to bring out that thing that you have forgotten about, where your greatness, where the blessings of God has been locked and has been embedded for so long and you have not been able to assess. He said, from ancient times, I call to remembrance that there is something in my spirit. I have to make a diligent search that God will use to turn my life around. It's time that you go deep within and say, God, Dear child of God, it's time that you go deep in your heart and say to yourself, I know that there is something great about my life. I know there is something great about my destiny. I know there is something great about what you want to do and I will receive them. He says, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness. So know, dear child of God, that God will make you so great. He will bring out something from your life that he will use to make a statement he would use to make a statement to the whole world. He said he would make you a praise on the earth. He has called you out of darkness that you may show forth his marvelous light. Dear child of God, you shouldn't be hidden anymore. He said he's making you the light. He said he's bringing you out and he will set you upon a hill and you cannot be hidden. Dear child of God, you have hidden yourself for a long time and God is saying, I'm going to make you great. I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to showcase you. He has called you out of the place of obscurity. He has called you out of the place of darkness. He has taken you out of the miry clay. You cannot drown, dear child of God. You cannot be destroyed because of the things that God wants to do in your life. In Isaiah 43 verse 21, he said, These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise, my God. He said he formed you for himself to show forth his praise. He said he formed you for himself to use you as a statement of fact. Dear child of God, people will look for the goodness of God and they will point to your direction. People will look for the mighty hand of God. They will look for the sign of God's goodness and they would point to your direction. Because he said it, that he would show forth his greatness out of your life. He would use you to do marvelous works. He will use you to perform wonders on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, 
It is time for God to visit your family. It is time for God to visit your community. It is time for God to single you out for greatness. At the time God chose King Saul, he was no one, he was nowhere. And God decided to bring him to the limelight. Dear child of God, today God will bring you forth and it will change your story for the best. It doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter the predicament you have been faced with for a long time. Today is that day of your salvation. Today is that day that God is arising to favor you. And as the word of God said in Psalms 102 verse 13, He says, Yea, my set time has come. Dear child of God, your set time for a liberation has come. Your set time for God to turn your story around has come. You have prayed and prayed and prayed. And God is saying to you today, you are one of those that I would greatly bless. And the people around the world will see it. The people who knew you before, the people who had written you off, the people who said nothing great would ever happen to you. They will see what God will do. And they will be in shock. They will be in amazement because God has promised to bring forth his greatness, to do something tangible, to do something amazing, to do something awesome through your life. You are one of those that God will do something big that would shake the world. Dear child of God, some earth-shaking miracles, some earth-shaking testimony will be coming from you. And what the Lord will do, you will not be able to tell it all. Dear child of God, the things that brought issues in your life, the struggles, the pains, the circumstances, the challenges that you have had to deal with in the past, today God himself will deal with each and every one of them. And you will see the mighty hand of God show forth towards your direction in Jesus' mighty name. He said, O Lord God, thou hast begun in Deuteronomy 3 verse 24 to show thy self and thy greatness and thy mighty hand for what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. You'll be seeing the mighty act of God. You'll be seeing the strange act of God. You'll see God perform some mighty signs through your life and through your family that would take away every of the reproach that you had experienced in the name of Jesus. He said for the shame, for the afflictions, for those troubles, for those confusion, he's bringing to you double honor. And I have a good news for you today. You are one of those persons that God wants to bring double honor and be in expectation because they would come. The word of God said that the expectations of the just will not be cut short. Believe the promises of God. Have faith that God will do it and he would most certainly do it. Believe in the promises of God because he is faithful. He that promised is faithful. Who also will do it? Dear child of God, you are not a doer, but God is the doer and is saying to you, you would experience his greatness. He's saying to you today that you are not written off. Do not write yourself off. Dear child of God, do not say it is over for you. Do not say I cannot make it in life. Do not say to yourself that there is nothing great that would ever happen to me again. Do not say I'm already worn out. Do not say I cannot do it. Believe like Caleb. Tell yourself, It may look as though time is against me. It may look as though I have made some things in life, but I know I'm still well able. I'm still well able to go out there to get what is mine. Dear child of God, it is not late for you to be settled. It is not late for you to be married. It is not late for you to carry your own child. And God will do it in a great and an amazing way. He will use you to show forth his greatness. He will use you to show forth his great act. He will use you to show forth his signs and his wonders on the face of the earth. It is not too late for you to make it still in life. Dear child of God, it is not late for you to have your name written in gold. Dear child of God, it is not late for you to receive that recognition. It is not late for you to sit on your seat of significance. It is not late. 
if you would only believe. All things are possible to all who would believe. All things are possible to those who would have faith, saying to themselves, I know God has a great plan for me. I know he's thinking about me. I know he has something beautiful he wants to achieve with me. And I'm going to receive each and every one of them. I know my upliftment is coming. And my time for turnaround victories and testimony has come. I know my time to be favored has come. And I'm going to receive my bundle of joy. He said he will use you to show forth his praise. He said he has called you out of darkness to show forth his marvelous light. Dear child of God, would be an example of God's goodness on the face of the earth. Somebody will look at you today and say, indeed, God is good. You will be the example of how God visits people and turns lives around in the mighty name of Jesus. From the place that nothing good would ever come out from, God brought Jesus and he went about doing good. God will make you significant. And he would also use you to make people significant in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not rich enough. Dear child of God, do not give up because it is not over. He asked, can anything good come out from Nazareth? And God responded by sending Jesus, by bringing him forth out of the same Nazareth. Yes, they said, nothing good would ever come from your family. Soon, God would amaze them because you are one of those persons that God wants to use to show forth his praise on the face of the earth. Send this to the people you love. Tell them God has a great plan for you still. Do not give up. Keep believing. Keep aspiring for greatness because it will happen. Because you have the great God, the mighty working God, the God of wonders, the God who never fails. The God who never disappoints. And I have this good news for you. He will not disappoint you. He will not reach your turn and change. He will make everything beautiful in your life. And you'll be able to say, God has made everything beautiful in his time. And I found myself in that time of God's goodness. I found myself, my family and I, I've been privileged to receive these blessings from God and it will be unending in the mighty name of Jesus. It is your time to testify and you must testify. Spread this word and let them know that God loves them. Let everyone that you care for know that God will still do something amazing and it is not late for God to show up. It is not late for God to achieve the things that he intends to achieve and nothing will stop them from receiving that blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Congratulations, because it is your time to testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you, and shalom.